Today, I want to share a few thoughts with you about anxiety and stress. Every one of us will have feelings of anxiety at some point in our lives. Anxiety is defined as a feeling of unease, such as worry or fear, and it can be mild or severe and cause physical effects. Over this last year of the pandemic, many people have had increased levels of anxiety. There are many reasons for this. Anxiety about getting sick or passing COVID on to loved ones, financial and employment worries, the stress of homeschooling and not being able to see friends and relatives, and generally the uncertainty of what lies ahead. The Scottish Association of Mental Health have produced 10 tips to help with stress levels. Number one, breathe. Take a long, deep breath in. Feel, feel your lungs expand like a balloon. Hold for a moment and then release slowly through your mouth. Laugh. Laughing increases your blood flow, boosts your ability to fight illness and feels good. Move. Star jumps, squats, skipping, even burpees if you can manage them can be done quickly. Moving relaxes the muscles, uses up adrenaline and releases chemicals that help depression. Smile. Smiling releases chemicals that lowers your blood pressure and helps you relax. Music. Listening to music can improve mood, reduce depression and anxiety and boost self-esteem. And singing has been shown to reduce levels of stress hormones. Stretch. Stress can make us tense. When we stretch our muscles, relax, blood flow increases and endorphins are released. Declutter. Feeling like we have too much can increase stress hormones and overload our senses. Try donating things you don't need to charity. Be thankful. Reflect on the things you're grateful for. People who do this regularly are less anxious more engaged and have more fulfilling relationships. Sigh. Relaxing your mouth and shrugging your shoulders sends a message to your brain to turn off stress hormones. Nature. We live in a beautiful part of Scotland, so most of us can get out into nature easily. But even just looking at nature can reduce stress levels and improve self-esteem. As we approach Easter, let me share with you some of Jesus' final words from John 14. I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So do not be troubled or afraid. Remember what I told you. I am going away, but I will come back to you again. If you really love me, you would be happy that I am going to the Father, who is greater than I am. I have told you these things before they happen, so that when they do happen, you will believe. May you know the peace of Jesus this Easter. <laughs>